moment we have all been waiting for. We are live in Dickies Arena for the 2022 NCAA Women's Championship final day of competition here. I am Bridget Sloan, self-proclaimed number one team member of the stream team, and I will be covering bars all day long. Auburn starting off on uneven bars today. Adeline Sabados, here she goes. Had a 9-8, excellent job on that, Ray. A little form break. Saw her really tightening up on warm-ups. Today is about being perfect. It's the only day. Every 10th counts, nice Cassians in there in that vertical position, just the dismount. Little shuffle of the feet on that dismount, but a nice start in that leadoff position. Adeline's job is to stay on the equipment just like she did and be clean. Really good start for Auburn. This is a amazing moment for Auburn. They have been rewriting history, it seems like, all season long. This is the farthest they have ever made it in the postseason and watching them in warmups. These athletes are so excited to be here. These, these are the moments that these athletes will forever remember as we wait for Adeline's score. Sophia Growth, freshman, has a season high of 9.925. On Thursday's semifinal day, she scored a 9.8375. You're gonna see smooth transitions from Sophia. I had the pleasure of talking to her mom earlier this week and she kept saying Sophia loves to compete. And you can tell when she's out there this is the moment that she loves. She loves putting on that leotard, getting that salute ready, and competing for her team. And the green flag is up, and Sophia is ready to go. She's going to mount to her immediate release here. It's called a ray. Excellent extension. Gorgeous handstand work. You see her legs, they are glued together just like they're supposed to be. She's gonna do blind change, full pirouette here. See if on top of the bar, a little over there. But a stuck double tuck. Really nice job. Sticks are contagious in this arena. Auburn, that is the first stick of the day for them. Sophia Growth, absolutely fantastic job. Just a freshman, very excited to see her the rest of her career. And then next up, junior, Cassie Stevens. See her chalking up her grips there. Most important part of uneven bars the process of chalking up your grips. Cassie has a season high on uneven bars, 9.925, had a 9.85 on Thursday. Auburn overall, really fantastic job on semifinals, went 49.4375 on uneven bars. Just has been performing cool, calm, and collectively all week long. And Adeline had a 9.825. See what Sophia gets. Nice big deep breath and Cassie is off. She's gonna start things off. She's gonna do a toe on toe off into her ray. Huge flight here, hands over the bar, excellent extension. Little rush on that cast handstand. And just the dismount, floats this double layout. Flares her arms out, and that is a another stuck landing for Auburn there on a roll. That is two stuck landings. Today it is all about the detail work. These athletes did not get here by chance. Ladies and gentlemen, they have worked all season long for this moment. 
The national champion will be crowned today. And it all comes down to the stuck landings, the handstand works, all the little details that you work on in season, it's all coming down to today. Cassie Stevens right there with a huge routine for Auburn. And up next, Aria Brush. Has a season high 9.95. On Thursday went 9.8875 and she is one of the most consistent bar workers for Auburn. See Ashley Johnson giving her a final pep talk. As an athlete, it totally depends on what you want. Me personally, when I was competing, I, I didn't like the coaches' pep talks. I told them, I got this, let me do my thing. But it really comes down and these coaches do such a great job making sure their athletes are prepared. And Cassie Stevens with a 9.85. So Sophia had a 9.8875. So they are looking right now to drop Adeline's 9.825. And Ari Brush, here she goes. Really aggressive on this release. She's gonna go Shaposh. Nice leg work there. Little short on that handstand. The judges want to see these girls, these ladies, these athletes hold the handstand just like that. No question there. Pretty significant hop backwards out of that routine. That was going to be the biggest deduction. But notice when she took that hop, it was solidified. Full control. If you're going to make a mistake, make sure you have that control. Aria doing a great job there. She is a veteran, only a junior, simply a junior, but she has been in the lineup many, many times. High fives all around. So far, Auburn doing a great job. You're gonna see six athletes compete on all four events today. Only five scores were, will count. So right now, Adeline 9825 is what they are going to want to drop. And the next two athletes, Absolutely spectacular on uneven bars. Darion Goburn. She's known for floor. But you cannot count her out on any of the events she competes on because this athlete just took home a second place on uneven bars on Thursday with a 9.95. Senior Drew Watson giving her the pep talk she needs. Aria Brush, 9.8375. And Darion has amazing flight in her movements. She just attacks this routine. Huge to Kachif here. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Just the dismounts, a full twisting, double back. Let's see if she can get the stick. Of course she does. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Second place, uneven bar champion. Right behind Trinity Thomas. Senior, so incredible. Auburn doing a fantastic job, and the lady of Auburn, Suni Lee, Olympic champion, just outstanding athlete, has been rewriting the history books of Auburn and helping her team rewrite those history books. These are the moments that she is used to, these pressure situations. The sixth athlete to go, looking to drop Adeline's 9.825. And Darion Goburn, massive 9.9375. Notice the scores are getting better and better.
Little quick spritz on the bar. Everybody likes the bars a little different. I always like the bars a little bit on the wet side, so I, I agree with SUNY there, spraying those bars down. This is a jam-packed bar team for SUNY. She is full of tricks. And she does this bar team so well. Season high, perfect 10. And you're gonna see why right here. Combination, Shapash to a pack. Right back to a Van Leeuwen, Shapash half there. Had some trouble in warm-ups with the dismount. Just a hop on the landing. Really, really nice job. High fives all around. That is the Olympic champion in Tokyo, now competing for Auburn, having the time of her life. And Auburn looking really good on uneven bars. Rotation number one. Rank number seven. Auburn ends the first rotation, 49-3375. I am Bridget Sloan. I will be on bars for rotation number two. Coming up next. And welcome back to the live stream. I am Bridget Sloan, self-proclaimed number one stream team member. And we are on to rotation number two. The University of Florida on uneven bars, currently coming into this rotation in third. And this athlete right here, this is a big moment. Sloan Blakely, freshman, did not have a good bar day in semifinals. Redemption for her nice release, right back down to the low bar. And right here, the mistakes, not today. Front giant, double front, blind landing, and just a step on the landing, but wow, just a freshman, had a mistake, semifinals comes in today for finals and says, not today. Great start for Florida. Sloan Blakely leading them off and getting that ball rolling. Florida coming into today's competition. They are ranked number two on uneven bars. Season average a 40, 49, six plus and Semifinals day, they went 49-475. And this next athlete, Riley McCusker, freshman, the elite quality that she brings to uneven bars, unmatched. The experience is something you can't teach. On Thursday, she went 9.8625 on uneven bars and she is capable of 9.9 nine plus. And you're gonna be seeing six athletes on each apparatus go. Only five scores will count. So right now with Sloan's, waiting on that score, And here's Riley. Feet glued together. Shaposh half. Stalled her right to a double tuck. See if she can stick it. And that is not what they wanted to see on that. Looked like she just wasn't ready for that landing. 
But up till that dismount, fantastic. Unfortunately, that is going to be a major deduction. Five tenths. Not the bar routine Riley was wanting for her team. But as I mentioned, you will see six athletes. That is going to be the score that these Gators want to drop. And Sloan with a 9.8375. Next up for the Gators, right there, senior Savannah Shane Hare. She is an absolute pleasure to watch on uneven bars. Goes above the expectation on all of her releases. Her dismount, huge double front with a half. On Thursday, went 9.8125. Just was a little rushed on Thursday, and watching her in warm-up today, you could tell she was much more relaxed. Had full control and Riley scored just up 9.4125. And here Savannah goes, mounts the bar. She's going to go blind change, immediate. Jaeger, so high. Well over the bar. Toe hand to bail. Excellent form so far. Trying to get this Gator team back on track. And this dismount, blind change. Double front with a half. And a stuck landing. Getting this Gator team back on track. Senior Savannah Shane here. Wow. Really nice job. So much better than Thursday's performance. She brings it when her team needs it. Next competitor for Florida. Super senior, Megan Skaggs has looked at this season as such a gift, such an opportunity to give back. And this is an event where, in my personal opinion, Megan soars. Placed third in the all around on Thursday. Tied for ninth, she had a 9.9125 for Thursday's semifinal. And Megan is ready. Savannah with a huge 9.925. Has a big combination right here. Cass Hansen gonna do a huge Tkachev. Takes it right to her fingertips every time. Immediate pack. See if she can stick this double layout. Period. Stuck double layout, the first stick after, well the second stick after Savannah's getting this team back on track. That is gonna be a massive score, ladies and gentlemen. What Florida needs, they came into the second rotation in third after vault. Remarkable job by Megan Skaggs. The next athlete, Trinity Thomas.
took home three individual titles on Thursday. All around uneven bars and floor exercise. Had a perfect 10 on floor exercise. Won bars with a 9.975. Florida wanting to keep that 9.4125 out. Make sure they do not count that score. And Megan Skaggs, 9.9125. Teammate pep talk by super senior Alyssa Bauman there. The two of them have been fantastic on this floor. Floor rotation, floor, floor to everything. Alyssa Bauman has done a fantastic job helping Trinity get to this point, and Trinity is here to shine. Remarkable on this event. Capable of scoring a perfect 10. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Trinity Thomas. Only deduction I saw, she did not get her heels together as she saluted and as she finished, the judges are looking. These judges are looking for deductions and these athletes are so talented. They don't want to give away anything today. Trinity coming after Megan Skaggs, 9.9125. And let's see. I see a couple 9.95s. I don't think it's going to be a 10. Mathematically, will definitely not be a 10. But still an excellent score for Florida. Today is all about the team. And when that final rotation, rotation number four ends, who is going to be on top? Trinity Thomas, 9.975, so close to that perfect 10. And the final competitor, Leanne Wong, freshman, has scored a perfect 10 on uneven bars. Nice Van Leeuwen there. Little form break on that handstand. Double layout. Just a shuffle of her feet. Just a freshman, but Leanne wraps up rotation two for the Florida Gators on uneven bars. Amazing job. Had a fall for athlete number two, Riley McCusker. They will have a fantastic end to rotation two. And I am Bridget Sloan. I will be here for rotation number three for Oklahoma. Come on back. And welcome back to the live stream. I am Bridget Sloan, self-proclaimed number one stream team member.
And we are on to rotation number three. Your standings over to the right hand of your screen. Utah in first place, second. And OU headed to uneven bars. This is a, dare I say, perfect event for them. They are ranked number one right now. And in semifinal day number one, they got a 49.575. They are capable of putting up some big scores here, and they need to do it. Their best two events, uneven bars and balance beam, they will be headed to balance beam after this third rotation. But to get things started, freshman Danielle Sievers, she has a career best of a 9.925, had a 9.9 .9 on Thursday. She's absolutely marvelous on uneven bars. Posh right to a pack. Half pirouette, a little form break. But a beautiful handstand there, just what the judges are looking for. In a stuck dismount. Wow, full twisting double back. Way to get things started. Oklahoma is not ranked number one on uneven bars by chance. They worked for it every single meet and walked into today's competition knowing they are excellent on uneven bars. And Danielle Sievers, what a start for the Oklahoma Sooners. Oklahoma looking to take the lead here after this rotation or be close to it. See walking athletes come up. Catherine Lavasser. Almost every athlete on this Oklahoma team that is in this bar lineup has textbook form. Execution. And the crazy thing blew my mind. They have not gotten a perfect 10 all season on uneven bars, but they are still ranked number one. Cat had a 9.9375 on Thursday. Has a career best of a 9.95. And a massive start for Oklahoma. 9.975 for Danielle. Catherine is set up for a huge score here. This is a new release to Kachif, done so well. Gorgeous last handstand, just the dismount. See if she can get the stick. Of course she can. Wow. Sticks are contagious. They absolutely are contagious. Cat with a flawless routine, has a career best of a 9.975. And Danielle, lead off. 9.975, remarkable. Just gotta keep that juices, keep the juices flowing, keep the sticks coming. And up next, senior Olivia Troutman. Thursday had a 9.88. Seven five. She's going to be coming after Kat's huge score. Whatever it is, I know it's going to be a good one. And it is a 9.9375. Same thing she got on Thursday for semifinals. You can see the Oklahoma bar crew working very hard, making sure these bars are set for each individual athlete. Kudos to them, that's a very difficult job to make sure everything is perfect. Big moment for Olivia. 
Let's see how it goes. Gorgeous Shaposh to pack. Little close when she caught the bar. But recovered so well there. And a stunning cast handstand. No question there. Dismount. Double layout. The smallest hop on that dismount. Looking for these scores to build. Right now, the Sooners have two stuck landings. Olivia, unfortunately, not a stick, but an excellent bar routine. No question there. And the Oklahoma Sooners, four NCAA championships in that program. I actually shared one of the championships with them. I, Bridget Sloan, shared. I know that's a little odd to hear, but sharing is caring. And an absolute excellent team every single year just has been dominating NCAA gymnastics on the men's and women's side. Testimony to both programs here. And up next, Reagan Smith, Jr. Had a 9.8625 on Thursday. Had some trouble right here at the start. She's going to do a combination. See if she does it. And she does. Massive rate of pack. So far, this routine is flawless. Little form break on that handstand. Wanted to stick this landing. A small shuffle of the feet. Still an excellent job. Coming after Olivia's 9.9. .9. You know, Reagan can put up some big scores. Has never received a 10 this season. I shouldn't say never. Has never received a 10 this season. Actually has a career best of 9.95. And right there, the biggest deduction in that routine was just that form break on the last cast handstand. Just overcooked it a little bit. But no worries there because her teammates have her back. The next two athletes to go, Jordan Bowers, Audrey Davis, two athletes that are exceptional. In the scoring today, you have six judges on the panel, so they're going to drop the highest and the lowest and take the average of the remaining four. Very makes it very difficult to get a perfect 10, but not impossible, like what we saw on Thursday. And Jordan Bowers, freshman, had a 9.9 .9 on Thursday, has a career best of a 9.975. Has some of the best lines I have ever seen. Executed, so well done. Coming after Reagan Smith's 9.825, looking to drop that score. Huge Ray, so much height. Excellent control that cast handstand, no problems there. See if she can hit this handstand, of course she can. Jordan Bowers, freshman. And a stuck, full twisting double back. Wow, wow, wow. Oklahoma wanting to get a massive lead after this third rotation. They are on their way there. That was Jordan Bowers. Such gorgeous lines. Sticks that landing. And the final competitor for Oklahoma on uneven bars, sophomore Audrey Davis had a 9.95 
on Thursday. Actually tied for second as an individual after Thursday's competition. And she has some of the best Higgins work, which you will see, and I will make sure you know that it's coming up. And the flight she gets on her piked Jaeger is unbelievable. She's gonna flare her arms. It is just gorgeous to watch. And Jordan Bowers, huge, 9.95. So Audrey is set up here for a big score. She had a 9.95 on Thursday. Let's see what she does here. In the Higgins work right here, she's gonna do an inverted turn. So high. Oh, it's incredible. Wow. Half pirouette, holds the handstand. Another Higgins work. Double front with a half. And sticks the landing. Holy moly. That was, I don't know what the deduction is in that bar routine, but Audrey Davis is gonna be putting up a massive number, helping Oklahoma right now get to that number one spot, headed into the fourth rotation. Rotation three for Oklahoma, lights out. Absolutely incredible job. They will be heading to balance beam for rotation number four. I'm Bridget Sloan. I will be on bars for rotation four. Come on back. And it is my pleasure. Rotation number four, underway. Utah on uneven bars. I am Bridget Sloan, and it has been a great competition so far. After this rotation, the national champion will be crowned. Utah in a pretty significant difference from OU and Florida. But Amelie Morgan, Olympian for Great Britain, team bronze medal in Tokyo. Starting things off, blindfold to a double tuck, see if she can stick it, and she does. Excellent start for Utah. In order for Utah to get to that first place after this rotation, they're gonna need some help from Florida and Oklahoma. After the first two rotations, Utah was in that first place position, but coming in after vault, not the strongest event for Utah and bars. Really is not a bad event for them. They're ranked number six. And they have the ability to put up some big scores, but they're gonna need some help if they wanna capture that national championship today from OU and Florida.
And the next athlete for Utah, Grace McCallum. Olympian experience that is unmatched. She competes with such ease. And Amelie Morgan posting a huge 9.9. .9. Get that ball rolling for this Utah team. Grace had a 9.725 in semifinals, had a little issue on her dismount. Such a smooth transitions for Grace. Gonna go right back up to the high bar. Van Leeuwen, we see a lot of those. But right here, Dismount took a really massive step on Thursday. But not today, just a slight shuffle of her feet. Not the stuck landings that you wanna see. It all comes down to the minor, small details. That can be the difference of taking home a national championship and getting second. And I would know. I have been in this position many times and this final rotation is so crucial, but it's so important for these athletes to stay in their bubble, just focus on doing their job. Nothing more, nothing less. Abby Paulson next for Utah. Had a 9.8125 on Thursday. Has a career high of a 9.875. Head coach Tom Farden giving her the wise words of bar wisdom. And Grace with a 9.95. See what Abby can do here. Really nice form. Good flight in her shapash. Right back down to the low bar. Little short on that cast handstand, but blind full pirouette to a double tuck. And just a low landing. Didn't quite get the rotation. Had to take a hop forward. That is going to be the score that Utah wants to drop. Six athletes will compete. Five scores will count. Amelie Morgan with a 9.9. Grace McCallum with a 9.95. And up next for Utah, Sage Thompson. Had a 9.9 .9 on Thursday, has a career high of a perfect 10. Has a unique release move. She is going to do it in between the bars. You're gonna see it's a ginger. Here she goes. Abby Paulson with that 9.8. They're going to be wanting to look and drop that score. Right here. Ginger in between the bars. Had some problems in warm up but executes it so nicely for this competition routine. And just the dismount. Just the slight, slight step on the landing. She has the ability to hit a perfect 10 routine. She has done it this season. That routine will not be a perfect 10. But it was pretty well executed. See what the judges take off.
And the next athlete for Utah, Miley O'Keefe. On today's floor rotation, actually had a fall. And this will be a testimony to Miley. These athletes put so much pressure on themselves and you just have to move on when you have a mistake. Miley, a veteran for this Utah team, knows how to do that. She is absolutely stunning on this event. Bars is her event. At a 9.9 .9 on Thursday during the semifinals. And Sage Thompson, 9.9125. The scores just keep getting better. Looking to drop that 9.8 from Abby Paulson. Japosh Pack, nice combination, excellent form. Legs together, little over on that half pirouette. You want to be in that vertical handstand position. No question there. Double Arabian dismount. Not just one, but two steps on that dismount. Little shuffle there, not the stuck landing you want to see. Again, the little details, that's what it is coming down to. Who is going to be crowned national champion after this fourth rotation? It's going to be the athletes that stick the landings. I'll tell you that. And the final athlete for Utah on this uneven bar rotation. Rotation number four, I am Bridget Sloan. And it has been my pleasure talking bars all weekend long. I loved the event when I competed and I love watching it. And Crystal Issa, the final competitor for Utah. Senior, senior Sydney Solowski giving her. These pep talks mean so much to these athletes. Everybody has their thing. I normally gave knuckles right before and I said, I got this. I had some other teammates that needed this pe that pep talk. So important, so crucial to get your mind right. And Miley O'Keefe with a 9.9. Crystal had a 9.7 on Thursday, took a big hop on her dismount, capable of putting up a big score here. Starts with her Ray, really nice job, catches with those arms fully extended. Final routine for Utah right here. Blindfold into a double layout, no giant. And we call that a college stick. Didn't have the control that judges are looking for, but excellent job for Crystal Issa. What an amazing moment for Utah. They have been here so many times in this position. And that is a wrap up for rotation four on uneven bars. I will be headed to floor with John. It has been a pleasure. I'm Bridget Sloan. Thanks for joining.